So I can't post a video without somebody, somebody saying, hey, AI art can do better than that. Or, oh no, oh no, we're all gonna lose our jobs. Well, I got news for you, man. AI art, it ain't so good. Um, here's the thing, I, I have tested several different AI art programs, but I'm only gonna pick on one of these uh, today and we'll deal with the others, we'll deal with the others at another time when they get their interface together, when it's, it's less like coding and more like actual use of, uh, just program or think. They don't understand how the average user uses stuff, okay? That's, that's mistake number one. Because here's the thing, if AI art is pulling all this reference from other artists, they're making all the same common mistakes that other artists make. So I figured we could at least learn uh, from these mistakes that these AIs are making because they, quite frankly, they stink at drawing. Okay, uh, to do it, to just to show you an example. Okay, I went to probably the most accessible one is this one, it's called Mage Space. Just doing a quick, a simple thing, like, I don't know, something easy like hands, or uh, let's say a drawing of hands. I and mean, this should be easy. This should be something that like a five-year-old can do, right? Like, <laughs> this is, these are hands. This is what AI thinks that hands, a drawing of hands looks like. I think a two-year-old knows how many digits are on a hand. You know what? Let's try it again. Let's give it another go. Let's give them round two. Uh, uh, let's give them a second chance. Uh, Mage AI. Not safe for work? <laughs> what? Is this safe? Why? What? Nudity? Do people have like a hand fetish or something? <laughs> this is news to me, dudes. What? What? What the what? How is that not safe for work? How is that? How is that? I don't understand. I, I don't understand, mage. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's try it something else. Let's try like actually like, hmm, uh, uh, who was good at drawing hands? Like uh, Hogarth was like a, he was like an anatomy guy. Oh my, what is happening? Why are people afraid of this? What is... Who else is good at drawing uh, hands? Proko, my buddy. <laughs> my buddy Proko can draw some hands. He's done a few studies. He's got his fundamentals down. Let's see if it can draw like Proko. If you're worried about losing art jobs, it shouldn't be to AI. It... it if this scares you, you need to go back to the fundamentals. <laughs> okay, maybe it's because it's drawings. Okay, let's try like a painting of hands. Let's try that. By the way, none of the results I'm getting look anywhere near like that reference image they have in the background there. I think that's like a photo composite of other people's, I don't know. Maybe I'm not talking to the AI right or something. What do you got to train yourself to talk to this dumb thing? Some guy said I was, I sounded like I was scared of AI. <laughs> and that's why I was not, I was not big on it. I can see some uses for this and I will dig into that. If you stick it out to the end of the video, one, we're going to correct some of this, these drawing mistakes. The second thing I'm going to show you how you could probably even use AI if you're an artist and it would, but you still have to know your fundamentals. You still have to know how to draw to use this stupid thing. It must be really challenging with the painting. I thought I was making it easier. Oh, I think this would be good for creating monsters because it kind of looks like something familiar, but it's like distorted. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my eyes. What is, what, what is this? This, is this a thumb? Are these like, if you, if you tried to, to do art like this, <laughs> Okay, you know what? Maybe gallery artists, maybe they're in trouble. Cause I've seen stuff at gallery, uh, art galleries, like lowbrow art galleries. Like maybe, maybe this is on that. Maybe that, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to justify how, how this artist, this mage AI could possibly make money as an artist. And yeah, yeah, there's some people who'd go, oh, hey, that's really interesting. Look at the blues. There is some interesting stuff going on in here. Check this out. There's some nice skin tones going on. It's certainly like good for maybe getting some colors that you could pull, you know? Let's try, um, let's say a hand because, because that's simpler. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, we're all gonna lose our jobs. Dude, um sadly I have seen portfolios like this. You know what? Enhance that mofo. <laughs> I need that in high res. I need that one in high res. Let's try another one. At least something somewhat clear. At least something that like, it, it seems believable that it's trying. Like just try. Please mage AI, mage AI. Like try, try. You can do it buddy. Five digits. F come on five digits. Just give me five digits. And like a reasonable number of knuckles. Come on, one thumb. One thumb. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. Oh my God. I, I, I'm looking for one that I can fix. This is unfixable. This is not even... I, I legit stepped into this thinking, I, would, I need to find, like generate a hand that seems fixable. <laughs> I can't even find one. Okay, maybe I need to be more descriptive. Let's try this. A hand with uh, five fingers um, and uh, 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 let's say, uh, how can I be more descriptive? A human hand, ah, 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 ah. A human hand with five fingers. Um, how can I be more descriptive? Uh, correct anatomy. <laughs> I got him this time. It's got to be right on. It's got to be that I'm just not talking to it correctly. It's it's because I I wasn't specific about the kind <clears throat> the kind the kind of and what it, <laughs> it's so <laughs> I'm I'm try I'm really trying. I'm trying here. But mage is um draws at about the level of a two-year-old that has a, a copying, like copying chunks of something, but not understanding why. <laughs> Everyone is worse than the last. It's, it's almost frightening. It's like, it's actually, it is scary. <laughs> Now, I, I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, oh, well, this is just the early stages of this. And in like 10 years, in like 10 years, this AI is going to, um, you know, be able to do it better than humans. Well, you know, maybe I can actually help. Maybe I can actually teach this AI how to draw better. Maybe it'll learn. I don't know. But like, as it stands, everything I've seen from at least this one is pretty garbage. And now here's the thing. Maybe there are other better ones. Sure. But I think that most of the AI art that we see is really touched up a lot by artists, people who understand fundamentals, people who understand composition, anatomy, perspective, shading, lighting, like all the things that you learn when you're actually trying, like try, like please, mage AI, I know you're just a little baby, but like try, try to understand the fundamentals, don't skip them. Don't, I, I can't believe now I'm telling AI, a computer, a freaking computer, I'm telling it, don't skip the fundamentals. But you know what? You gotta. Because the mage AI don't know. It don't know. And it's if it's being taught by programmers, programmers aren't thinking about fundamentals of drawing. They're not thinking about perspective. Like what this thing should be freaking doing, like before it draws anything, sketch out a perspective grid draw in where the light is going to be like generate if it can draw stuff it should be able to generate 3d models technically at least to some degree of precision that i would be impressed with this is you might as well give crayons to a gorilla so this was an image that mage ai generated and as you can see it is jacked and so i was but it happened to be the least jacked image that i could pull up in a matter of probably about 50 tries, okay? That's <laughs> the least messed up. And I thought, oh, well, you know, just like maybe get rid of some digits and then like maybe add in an actual thumb. For some reason, Mage AI does not understand thumbs. By the way, you know, using AI to learn is a fantastic idea. You can pinpoint all kinds of problems 
and then that will help you to look for those problems in your own artwork. So do tutorials on anatomy, on perspective, on rendering materials, on lighting, on textures, materials, those, those sorts of things. And the better you get at those things, the more you can challenge yourself by painting over AI's crap art. The other thing that I found that was interesting specifically about Mage AI is like if you try to come up with character designs or ideas, it's actually good for that. But the ideas that it will spit out all have broken ass anatomy or terrible perspective or awful, god awful composition and lighting because these are things it just does not understand. It doesn't know how to do. Ironically, those are all the same problems that a lot of artists skip over because they're just going for flavor over structure or substance. So the AI is just copying all the same mistakes that all these other artists make. And you can use that to identify problems in your own work. And you can look at it and go, oh, I got like my own like a uh, toddler that I can fix their crap art, but they're not gonna be hurt about it, right? Because it's just a stupid computer. It's also a great way to break out of your own routines and challenge yourself with new color compositions, new ideas, new structures, new kinds of um, uh, things that you wouldn't have thought to do. They're not in your usual comfort zone. Now, I wouldn't say that doing this painting, like I would never light a hand this way. So from that perspective, yeah, AI can be really cool for like trying something new. Like, yeah, I, I've never really tried to draw a hand with that kind of a lighting scheme before, but you know, there's good complementary colors going on and there's some interesting like, you know, blending of, of a blown out light and uh, this soft blue kind of shading. Like that's interesting. Okay, I wouldn't, that's not within my usual wheelhouse. And one of the things artists tend to do is they fall into their sort of comfort zones and they go like, oh, I kind of always draw hands a certain way. Well, like what if you had to draw a hand in a way that you've never drawn before? Well, something like this could be good to generate a bunch of hands at angles you've never drawn and then really challenge yourself to figure out why is that so wrong? <laughs> so in all seriousness, you know, AI can be a really useful tool for you to learn how to train your eye to fix problems in other people's art without, and, and you'll notice this thing, this is a big factor. I am talking a lot of smack about AI and maybe, uh, you know, our, our robot overlords or cyborg armies will look up this video in the future and go, hey, hey, you were kind of a jerk about our early art efforts. You know, we remember that. But I'll tell you, uh, you know, for the time being anyway, while humans still roam this earth and run this planet, hey, you know, it's all right to kind of um, rip it apart a little bit. The AI ain't got feelings, so it ain't exactly going to be butthurt uh, if, you, uh, if you're rather critical of it, right? And also, it teaches you to separate yourself a little bit from the work itself of what you're making. A lot of times artists will wrap up so much of their value in the quality of art that they're doing. And maybe, maybe, just maybe for our spiritual self, we need to separate from that a little bit and just look at what's happening in front of us. Can we fix it? When you look at those stupid hands that are drawn by just idiotic AI and you can fix that, well, that's, that's building confidence. Those are those little wins that I always talk about on my channel that are gonna help you build your confidence with your own art. And if you can't identify what's wrong with it, well, that's a good way to test yourself because you need to get back to the fundamentals. That means studying anatomy. That means studying perspective. That means studying color theory. That means studying lighting. You need to get those things down so that you can identify those problems when you're looking at crap AI art and you can fix it. Maybe you could even adopt some AI into your process, such as generating some interesting ideas or poses for characters and then fix the anatomy and make it work. As you become a professional artist, you find that most of your job, especially in production art, is finding finding something that's broken as hell, identifying the problem and fixing it, and then creating a variation of it. AI is great for those things. So it could be really beneficial to use it as a way to improve your actual painting ability, your art sense. And if you struggle with those fundamentals and you're genuinely threatened by AI, man, I'm telling you, Pick up my easy art lessons. They will teach you how to draw the fundamentals in a fun and entertaining way. You will be able to draw better than AI in less than a week. Also, I just hired three artists to do jobs in concept art for video games that AI can't do. But you have to understand how concept art is used for video games, which is why I make all the workshops that I make, uh, such as my environment workshops, my character design workshops, skin design workshops. It's all over there on my Gumroad channel. You can get it on a discount right now. And dudes, until next video, I will see you in the next one. Ciao.